Well, as you say, the official autopsy shows Peter Spencer was shot nine times, five of those shots in the back. Now, Dr. Weck says those five shots in the back show Spencer was trying to run away from the shooter, and that's contrary to what the DA said. Police say Peter Spencer was shot after he randomly fired his assault rifle while high on drugs and threatened to kill three others who were with him at the remote hunting camp. Two weeks ago, Venango District Attorney Sean White said the suspect was facing Spencer when he shot him. Nine shots fired in less than three seconds, and this is how he explained five shots in the back. You saw the victim twisting and turning through the plane of gunfire. But Dr. Cyril Wecht says the DA actually bolsters the argument that Spencer was trying to get away. I think that that strengthens my criticism. If the guy's falling down, what are you continuing to shoot him for? Do you think he's going to go to earth and get his machine gun? Family attorney Paul Jubas says a federal investigation will show that the suspect was involved in criminal behavior. That means Spencer's shooter could not claim self-defense, as the DA argued. We expect an indictment. Um, it's clear that the suspect was involved in the same stuff that the district attorney is alleging Mr. Spencer was involved in, um, you know, which disqualifies him from the self-defense claim. Now, Juba says the toxicology report found that Spencer had fentanyl in his system, something the district attorney did not mention in his news conference. Now, Juba says it's possible that Spencer was drugged. Reporting live downtown, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.